Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Red Dirt Rods. Now today we're gonna to do some wiring tech. We have my 71 Buick GS convertible over on the lift and I'm putting in a new uh, transmission controller for our TCI Super Street Fighter 4L60. But because this has an LT engine in it, I need to split the speedometer sensor. I need to send that signal to the ECM and to the TCM. And to, in order to make this uh, more feasible for R&R &R when we have to service things, I'm going to add a weather pack terminal to the transmission speed sensor so that we can split it because those wires are on the opposite sides of the vehicle. And I'm gonna show you guys the tools that you need. I'm gonna show you the terminals so you can do this for your project. Okay, so before we get started, I wanna to talk to you a little bit about the tools. So there's a few different types of crimpers available out there. Actually, there's a ton of different crimpers. You wanna make sure you have good ones. If you have a pair of these in your toolbox, toss them, they're junk. Don't use them, they do not work well. I absolutely hate those. I only keep them as an example of what not to use. What you want is a good pair of quality crimpers. Okay, so this is a standard set of crimping tools for this style of terminal. This is an insulated terminal. If you take this nylon jacket, it would be a non-insulated terminal. So on these, the non-insulated use this little nipple here, okay? And the insulated uses this just kind of a clam shell. So this would go in here like that. These work really well for this style of terminal, but they don't work for metro packs or weather packs. So for that, you need a specialized tool like this. And if you look in here, you'll see a couple of different things. First of all, what's really nice about these is that they are locking. So as you crimp it down and you can let off, it doesn't open up until the crimp is completed. You have to complete the crimp in order for them to open. That ensures that you have a good quality crimp. Also inside, you can see the shape of the jaws here. So you've got a little kind of a W shape, and then here is kind of a U shape. So on this weather pack terminal, notice that you have these two little pins here, these two little legs here, and then these large legs. So these small ones right here are for the wire, and the larger ones are for the insulator. We come back to the tool, so this smaller section here, this is for the wire crimping and the large opening, this large hole is for crimping the insulator. I have these tools, these are the dedicated tools so you always know you've got the right ones. But these are really cool also. So I picked these up from Excel. There's multiple brands out there that make this style. These have interchangeable jaws. So right now what I've got in here are jaws for spark plug terminals but all you have to do all you have to do is unscrew these two little set screws and you can put in different sets of jaws these jaws here are for insulated terminals and these jaws are for weather pack and metro pack terminals so you can have one tool that does all of the different styles of terminals that you may need to crimp. But today, we're just gonna use these. Now, let's head over to the car. Okay guys, we're underneath our 71 Buick GS convertible, and this is our TCI Super Street Fighter 4L60 transmission, and this is the speedometer sensor wire for the ECM so that the engine computer knows the speed of the vehicle. And this is the 
speedometer sensor cable that's going to our TCI Easy TCU transmission controller. Now, because this car is a test mule, I've had this car for 23 years. It's had a bajillion different drivetrains in it. And I take stuff out a lot. So I want to make sure that I can separate this from this without having to constantly cut and solder or crimp new wires on. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our TCU speedometer wire and we're going to add a weather pack terminal to it so that I can basically plug this into the transmission and then this will have the other side of the weather pack and it will clip in that way if I ever need to change the wiring harness for either the engine or the transmission I can just unclip it and clip a new one in so that I'm not constantly cutting and making these wires shorter and shorter. So first things first, we've got this one and we've got this one. I'm just gonna tuck this one over. So first thing, I'm gonna cut the tape on the wire loom. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come in here, and go back about three or four inches this is not powered up, so I could cut them at the same time, but I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna cut it. So I crimped this wire. Now, grab the wire that's coming over. I had done this previously, but I soldered it, and I don't really like soldering in cars. So I've, the blue wire goes to the purple, so I already know that, so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut that, and black goes to black. So this one can get tossed. We're gonna strip this. Okay, so because we are combining two wires, it's a little trickier on the silicone boot. So this is the transmission speedometer plug. This is what's gonna go into the sensor. We're gonna wire that back to the TCI harness. So purple to purple, I'm gonna twist these together. And then I'm gonna take the boot and the boot slides on nipple out. And then we'll do the same with the black wire. We take our tool, we're gonna open it, we're gonna find the right size. So these tabs, the open side, goes to the closed side on your tool. So slide it in, it goes just like that. And then you bring this down just to keep a little bit of pressure on it. That holds it in place. As you crimp it down, those tabs are gonna curl in like this. And that's what bites into your wire. So first we slide the wire into the terminal and then we're gonna crimp it down until it stops and lets us open it. And that is a proper Metropac Weatherpack crimp, okay? Then you take the silicone boot. The boot is important. So you slide the boot up into the, the remaining large pins here, and then you will use this first set. This is completely round. When you crimp it, it's completely round, okay? And that, sometimes you have to pinch these down a little bit in order to get them to fit in. They go into the horseshoe and then your crimp collar just goes like that. So now we'll do the other pair of wires. And we just slide that silicone. The silicone is important. You don't want to forget it because that's what seals the outside of your plug. And then you put that in the round side. The round, the horseshoe goes to the open pins and you just make sure it's centered on it. We're going to use this one here for our silicone, just like that. There we go. Now you have a nice, clean crimp on your silicone. Then these two can go into the Molex. And this is your plug. This is the tower side and this is the shroud side. These female terminals go on the tower side. We're just gonna take this. These have a little cap that you 
pop open just like this. We're gonna open that. Doesn't matter what side you put these on as long as they're the same for the other side. And then this will just slide in. You'll hear it and feel it click. Okay, should look like that on the inside. You take the other one, slide it in, you hear it click. Okay, then you take this piece and you just clip it back down and that's your completed tower side of your weather pack. Now we come back to the other side and this is the same operation, but we're only using one wire. So now we're using the pin terminal, same operation on the tool. Okay, slide that silicone down in there, put it into the sealing jaw. I like to use these for fuel pumps and stuff like that so that you can make a quick, easy replacement when you need to R&R &R something. You need to pull the fuel tank out and you don't have to fumble around with the wires up underneath the, uh, on the top of the fuel tank. You can just disconnect it and drop the whole thing out as one unit. It makes it a lot easier to do R&R &R service. So now I'm gonna take the shroud plug and I'm gonna snap it in place, okay? That way I know that I'm going into the right position. So our purple wires are on this side. So I'm just going to slide the blue wire here and then I'm not going to snap it all the way in because it's a little tricky with it all together. Then I can pull this out and I know I'm in the right position. I go ahead, snap that in, snap that one in, check it. It can look like that. Now I'm going to go ahead and close up the back side clip this together. So now the ECM and the TCM will get the same speedometer signal and everything will work great. I just gotta plug this in. So I wanna put a little bit of this uh, power braid from Painless Performance. I really like this stuff. It works really, really well. It's nice and soft. And it's, I like it better than the plastic wire loom that a lot of harnesses come with. One more thing, and this is what, uh, where a lot of people skimp, is taping off their wire loom. So your wire loom really needs to be taped so that crud and junk and moisture don't get inside it and it keeps it from coming off or slipping. So you, you, you wire, you tape up the a bit of the end of the loom and then you go all the way up to the wire and then because we have two sets of wires I'm just gonna cross and come up tape that when you're working with electrical tape always should have a pair of scissors or a razor blades so you can cut it instead of tearing it tearing it stresses the tape I only use 3M Super 33 electrical tape. I've used this for 30 years. It is the absolute best there is. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't melt and fall off like the cheap stuff that you get from you know, the parts store. This is the good stuff and that's what you want to use. Now, I just gotta plug it in. That's all there is to installing MetroPack and WeatherPack terminals. We're gonna finish installing our TCI TCU and then we're gonna do a setup video and show you guys how this TCI Easy TCU works. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Let's make magic.